Hi everyone, welcome to Rockfish Farm. Today I'm out here in the garden. This is my vegetable garden. We garden here in raised beds. And I've been doing over on Facebook some live videos and then also been posting some videos for each vegetable, how to plant it, uh, square foot gardening style. And uh, so today I wanted to talk about succession planting. So succession planting is when you plant a vegetable, like let's say early in spring, and then that plant produces as much as it's going to produce. So it may take a month or two. So whether it produces itself out, uh, kind of like a, a determinate tomato, a bush tomato, it's only going to produce as many plants as, uh, or as many fruits as it's meant to plant, and then it's done. So by you know july when it's super hot uh or august um probably more like august uh, you know it, it's going to be done and then you still have a lot of this growing season and this is why i like indeterminate tomatoes but stuff like that stuff like squash where maybe it produces you know a lot of them will produce uh all through the season however there are a thing called squash bugs which are very hard to control uh without using a spray so an organic method of growing something like that that gets attacked by squash bugs is to succession plant so succession plant is planting a crop in the early season and then you know you can succession plant every two weeks weeks or so, um, you know, corn, you can do it that way, or you can wait a certain number of weeks for that crop to be almost done and then plant that in. So instead of having whole entire rows of like squash in square foot gardening, you have just your certain uh, squares that you have available for that plant. So let's talk for ex uh, example about the zucchini plant. So let's say you put one early in May. They're very easy to start from seed. They take up at least two squares. I always put them on the edge of my bed so that they can crawl out over the, um, sorry, let me adjust here, crawl out over the side and then it doesn't take up so much room in your square, in your um, garden beds. So uh, I usually plant one in like May, put two seeds in, let it grow, let it do its thing. And for our family, for the amount of squa uh, squash or zucchini that we plant, uh, you know, we don't go through that much of it. So one plant is enough. So I'll put a plant in and then maybe three weeks later or so, I will put in another seed because they sprout so fast. Um, I'll put in another seed in a different location of the garden. So I'll find... Uh, you know, an open spot on another end of the bed, and um, I will plant two more seeds. So that way, when this one on this bed gets huge, starts producing the plants, the squash bugs are going to start coming to it. I know that I can yank this one out of here, get rid of those squash bugs, uh, because I'm getting rid of the plant that they like. And then we have a little break in zucchini for a little bit, which is always a good thing for us, really. And then I know in a couple of weeks, this next plant is going to be doing that. And so I may do one a month that way uh, throughout the season. So succession planting makes it very easy to have the space in your garden for the things that you need. Okay, so what I mean by that is you don't have to grow 14 plants of zucchini at one time, okay? You can put a seed in, let that one plant go, you're gonna get a ton from that plant, yank it out, put in the next set of seeds, and you can do that probably three times throughout the season because they will produce all the way till fall. So there's lots of uh, vegetables that you can do that with, you know, corn, uh, you know, your squash, your zucchini, you can do it with beans, and it makes it easy to grow things like, let me show you over here, We've got, I've got one of my beds for my early season vegetables. Okay, so I've got things like peas and lettuce and uh, celery, I'm not celery, uh, cilantro, parsley. I know that when the uh, hot sun, con sun comes um, and the heat, that cilantro is going to bolt very, very quickly. And so I know I can enjoy it during the cooler seasons, yank it out when it's done, plant some, plant a row of, or a round of beans there, uh, plant a little bit more lettuce if it's a summer lettuce. And then so when this stuff is done, these squares are not going to sit empty. I'm going to finish out these peas, get them all picked and then yank these out. And then I know that I can do something quick like beans, zucchini, squash, um, 
carrots are usually pretty good uh, quick growers here for us. Um, some more herbs, things like that. So you're never going to have an empty space in your garden. You're going to always use it. Of course, it's early spring and we're getting ready to fill all these. But you never want to have an open space because that could be potential for growing a vegetable that will feed your family. So hope that is helpful to you. And if you got questions, you can leave them below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.